Hi, I'm Mayor Skip Hall. Welcome to Council Conversations. The City Council and I love to support our local businesses and welcome new jobs and investment. Today, I've invited Economic Development Director Janine Zhurkovic to give us an update on our city's business services and programs, local business assistance provided during the COVID-19, and updates on new businesses coming to Surprise. Janine, welcome. Thank you for having me, Mayor. Oh, you bet. So uh, let's talk about your department and what you're doing to help businesses. You know, we, we love to help businesses, as you said, in Surprise. Um, so our department, we have really a threefold mission. First, it's attract jobs. Okay. We want jobs, we need great jobs in this community. Right. Um, secondly, we're looking to enhance the general fund. So that means attracting retailers um, to the market. And then third, and it's, it's maybe a little um, more out there, but we want to enhance the quality of life in the community. If we enhance the quality of life, like doing things like attracting Ottawa University, mm -hmm. um, that will pay in dividends. Right. Right. Um, that will help us uh, attract those jobs and, and even attract those retailers. Um, so, you know, a little bit about what we do, you know, in a normal circumstance, um, I would say 80 to 90 percent of our um, our work in the economic development department is is usually focused on the business attraction and retail attraction portion. And we do that in a number of ways. You know, it's, it's a big market out there. There are site selection decisions being made all over the place. So, you know, if we can engage um, that market, if we can just get to be a part of that conversation, um, we think that Surprise has so many great assets and so many opportunities with our workforce, um, you know, with, with the quality of infrastructure, um, right. There are so many things that we have in Surprise that are amazing. And so if we can just get to be a part of that conversation, um, we know that we can turn tides gotcha. um, just because Surprise is so amazing. And so we do that through marketing. I mean, it's sure. relationship marketing, um, getting to be a part of, of meeting people that make those choices um, and make site selection decisions. Um, and it's, it's really understanding what's driving those market decisions. It's understanding what are the market perceptions of Surprise. Yeah. And what can we do to change those? Right. Um, I think that the census participation was like a, we're not a, just a retirement community. Exactly. Right? I mean, you know, the set. That's why the census participation was so important um, because it really tells the real story about what we are in the city of Surprise, right. and that will that will pay off in the long run. And it gives us um, those great talking points when we're talking to the big employers. Um, so you know, right. I, I tell you, we're building a campus with Ottawa, um, and doing that is helping us really build a new downtown. Mm -hmm. um, we are we are working on um, initiatives to enhance our, our site propositions at our Railplex. Um, and, you know, we're doing things, our, our retail conversation. Um, you know, I thank all of the residents for their participation on our retail survey. That that was really helpful in having one of those meaningful conversations with Costco. Sure. So, you know, I'll say Surprise is doing a lot of things on the big business attraction front. But, you know, one thing that we've always been so strong in um, is working with small businesses. Right. So going on, you know, 10 years or more, um, our city has really built a proficiency in helping small businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a whole program built around it. Um, and we know every small business, you know, will one day become a big business. And every big business at one right. point was a right. small business. Exactly. So we need to help everybody. So, so. I, I'm going to switch gears a little sure. bit. Uh, Janine, but you know, with this COVID-19 thing, you came up with this whole banner program yes. to help businesses. What can you what can you say about that? You know, that was that was really, I think, a turning point. You know, um, the the banner program, I think, was was a great way um, to help our businesses advertise um, that they are still open for business. So, right. you know, restaurants in particular, you know, we've got over 200 restaurants on our on our list that we, we update. And it was really important for them to message to people that they were still open. They were still offering pickup delivery services. So they they put these signs up and then um, you know you'll notice maybe a week or two later um, the retailers who weren't in the restaurant industry right. alerted us and said hey we hey, need we're some open too that's so right <laughs> everybody needs some love and surprise yeah, yeah, so exactly. um, we started an open for business with purple banners um, to really give them some visibility as well sure so, um, and that that really kicked off a lot so when when we started delivering those banners it was really clear to us that while our department is is usually very focused on the big Big business and the in the retail attraction and sure. serving businesses, um, we needed to pivot. So overnight, 
we, we launched a lot of virtual information. We put a lot of virtual services in place. We were calling our local businesses. Um, right. And so we, you know, right. this, this was just part of helping our local business. So we went from an attraction department to really a business retention department right. overnight. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think some great things have happened as a result of that. We've offered um, a lot of, like I've said, virtual services, virtual um, videos that the marketing department has helped us with. Um, these videos are bite-sized. So we want, our, we want to reduce confusion. We want to reduce anxiety. We want to empower businesses to perform. Right. So, um, and those, you know, and really, Janine, those banners became kind of a windshield decision helper. Exactly. When you're driving down the street, that banner, oh, they're open and oh, they got takeout. Oh, you know, right? That's great. And yeah. uh, so uh, that, w that, and it kind of massaged the mind so that you would, by the color, you would identify, you wouldn't even have to read the banner really. It was the color. <laughs> That's right. Oh, they're open and they have takeout. That's right. Or they have delivery? Oh, okay. And uh, so I think it was really helpful to them. And uh, I got a lot of positive feedback from businesses that the city cared during this time because it was such a stressful time yeah. for, for everybody. I mean, we're, we're still in it a little bit, we're coming out of it. But uh, boy, the month of April, the last part of March, was really tough was, and was. Uh, so that that really helped Janine so I you know thank you for doing that oh it's you know, a pleasure it's really, what about what about the uh, these virtual ribbon cuttings you've been doing <laughs> they, they have been a sensation well you know and as you recall we were doing ribbon cutting after ribbon cutting right um, you know prior to the COVID-19 incident so you know we really had to rethink how we do this uh, and, you know and there haven't been a ton of new businesses opening um, but we really had to think about how do we help help businesses celebrate their reopening. And you know, it is important. You have to communicate as a business with confidence that you are reopening first right. and foremost and you're right. reopening safely. Right. And uh, you know, a virtual ribbon cutting was really, you know, a very simple way, a fun way um, to, to get a message out that you are open for business. And so it, within 15 minutes, we, we've been able to set it up um, take a boomerang video or take a take a, a, a photo uh -huh. um, and get it messaged on social media. You know, it's been so much fun. Um, this week, I think we'll reach 100 virtual really? ribbon cuttings in no, just a month. No kidding. So there's a lot of great businesses in Surprise opening their doors, reopening. And, you know, this has just been a, an important way for us to celebrate sure. um, that they're back in business. That's great. That's great, Jeannie. Thank you. Another, another really... Uh, big assistance to these <laughs> businesses, you know, and I appreciate it and they appreciate it. Thank you. So, so what, uh, <laughs> what, what else is going on? What's new and surprise that you can talk about <laughs> <I know. laughs> that's coming or you're working on? You know? Thank you. No, I appreciate that. You know, um, this is, it's such a great community. You know, it's, you know, interesting that, you know, our, our restaurant list, um, you know, we, we have a verified restaurant list that people can download and know who's reopened and who's still delivering and, right. and with pickup service. Our list has grown, if you can believe it. We've added Handel's Ice Cream, for right. example, Mr. Mesquite. Right. Um, we've added Reels Pizza right. to that list. Right. Um, and I was there. I got a free pizza. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> the first 50. First You're 50. lucky. And, and it, was, it was a great, a great uh, <clears throat> experience because I got to talk to a lot of people. I was wearing my price shirt nice and uh so a lot of you know we tried to maintain social distancing while we were in wine okay <laughs> that was a little tricky but <laughs> that's great <laughs> you know but yeah so uh yeah. just just those three i've been to all three and uh those three that's businesses great. and the two that you talked about were over in west surprise which west surprise really needs yeah. more restaurants, we all know that. You and the council always are out there and supporting businesses, and that really helps us um, send a message that we are a business-friendly city. So right. thank you for doing that. Yeah, um, we are. Well, and you know, soon to come, and some some coming like right after this conversation, um, ATL Wings um, is oh, getting really? a lot of attention. Um, they're okay. going over, over by the um, Home Depot corner um, at, the, uh, at Bell & Grand, if that makes oh, sense. Oh, really? Over by the Michaels. Oh, okay. And, okay. um, you know, um, on the other side, um, we're getting a new Bath and Body Works oh, as well. Yes. So that's exciting. They're taking over Lane Bryant? They are. They are taking over Lane Bryant. 
Super. You know, that is such a successful corner, and it's always been a very successful corner. Right. Um, as soon as anything opens, um, it it soon finds a new tenant, just yes. because people want to be at that corner. Exactly. It's, it performs. Um, and then, you know, um, we have two Starbucks under construction right now, if you can believe it. Um, wow. We are, at, because we're growing so many people, we're growing new retail corridors. Yeah. Um, the Costco corridor is going to add um, a significant amount of retail. And so, you know, watch for that. I mean, and I think Sterling Grove is really adding to the... Yeah, that's a... You know, what, would you, what would you say that was? A luxury residential? A luxury... Uh, they, they, I think Which they, is something that we really needed in Surprise. I agree. For trade-up. I agree. People want to trade-up. And it's got that great golf course, Jack yeah. Nicholas designed golf course that's... I don't think it's going to open until next year right january i think you're right I yeah because right. the they the the superintendent wanted to make sure it was perfect before they open <laughs> they didn't want to open too soon you know exactly but well, that's a needed. really classy organization toll brothers and uh, so that's going to add uh there's 2200 homes right janine that is correct that is correct and they and they offer i think a lot of different price points um, which is great, and we need all kinds of housing in Surprise. Exactly. We really exactly. do. We need we right. need to be welcoming to everybody in Surprise. So right. it's great to great to have them. Yes. Um, from an employment perspective, you know we're we're really um, we're really excited to welcome new healthcare projects on the 303. The the Abrazo is having a job fair, um, so they're hiring 50 new professionals. And that's at 303 and Bell. 303 and Bell. That right. is correct. Okay. Um, and then you know our our Railplex. I think a lot of people almost forget that. We we have the premier railplex in the southwestern United States. We are certified um, with BNSF, with the, the railroad company, okay. um, to offer shovel-ready sites. And so once that has been launched, that has been very significant um, for new, new employer attraction. So you'll notice we're attracting great, um, I would say a lot of family-owned, um, forever businesses that people that this they want to make surprise their forever home right companies like trimaco companies like iris usa right. companies like c cup packaging um announcing this year right um have been significant for us um you know and and really and not that luxury rv place that's right nirvc or national indoor rv centers right. um they received certificate of occupancy in, in late january i believe they're already selling I know. As you know, so it's it, that's so exciting for us. You need all kinds of employers sure. there, and they really add, I think, a degree of of um, differentiation and prestige in in a lot of different ways. Right. Well, what what's the latest on Costco? Well, they've they've announced um, that their time frame is the fall of this year that they're okay. opening. And so, that was a strategic decision on their part. That is correct. Right? That is correct. The building is up, so if you've driven past it, it looks it looks like you could just walk right in if I you know. look at it. It looks beautiful. So um, what what I'm excited about is that September 15 um, is their birthday. And as you know, we've we've um, oh, celebrated yeah. their it? birthday in surprise oh, every yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. So we're excited to welcome them for their birthday, <laughs> <laughs> their that's, founding date of uh, September great. 15. That's great. So that's the, that's the latest. And you know, there it's uh, Costco was fantastic. Costco is also bringing a lot of um, attention to that retail corridor. Yes. So I would say to everybody, watch, watch for the additional retail that wants to around. go around it. Costco is oh, a community okay. legitimate Okay. in terms of a brand. That's an interesting way to put it. So in other words, when they make a decision to go somewhere, everybody goes, well, if Costco's going there. That's right. Right? That's right. It must be a good market. That is correct. Costco does their homework. They don't they just do. locate anywhere. So um, we're, we're really excited to be a community. Any word on a, on a movie theater over there? Well, um, we've uh, you know we've had a variety of conversations about entertainment anchors yes. along the 303. You know, obviously we've got to we've got to watch for what is the movie theater industry doing True. in the new True. new with Netflix <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Right, right. But um, but that would be attractive. And and um, Harkins and other movie uh, theaters um, have always performed really well on our most wanted list. So oh, okay. we've we've had conversations with with Harkins. We think we're a great market. For sure. for um, a, a, a top premier movie theater like a Harkins or or others. Yeah, yeah, sure. And there's others too. Yeah. Sure. And then, um, is there anything out uh, out in North Surprise 
Besides, we just built a library. Right. We just opened the library, and then we have the fire station going to open. It's going to open 1st of September, I believe. Mm -hmm. Beautiful fire station. Yeah. And we just approved some artwork for it last night at the council meeting. Beautiful. Which is really, really nice artwork. Um, and then uh, their heritage is out there. The uh, age-restricted Lennar mm -hmm. development, mm -hmm. that's out there. But is there any commercial activity out there, Jenny? You know, the commercial market is coming around. Now that we're showing them that the housing market is performing. Yeah. You know, and I think that's always very confusing to people. We, you know, we we market that that area and we market it a lot. We've, we've spoken at um, the International Council of Shopping Centers forums and, you know, that's one market where I think you'll find the, the team in Surprise, we, we have a heart for that area because we're watching, we're watching it explode. I know. And, you know, my opinion is whoever is the first mover from a grocer, from a, a retailer perspective is going to be the winner. Right. And you're going to get thousands and thousands of, of loyal households and customers that, that will frequent you. So um, that we have a heart for that. So we're actively marketing um, that area, okay, and it's good. you know I, I think it's um, it's it's been in discussions um, for a while. There have been uh, major grocers and, and restaurants and developments that have been discussed, but um, I think it's always been a question of that proof point. Do you really have um, the housing numbers? And gosh, I think we do. I think we do. Yeah, so. I think we do. And I know uh, I know you put a lot of effort into the uh, what we call the AZ Tech Accelerator. Yes. which is our incubator. Mm -hmm. There, you know, there's a lot happening over there. So one thing I want to talk about is um, some of the services. We actually just launched a new um, service for small businesses. Um, you don't have to be a part of the Tech Accelerator oh. to access it. Okay, good. Um, but we've got a new program on the um, Surprise AZ uh, Economic Development website. Okay. It's, it's an asset called Size Up. So Size Up? Size Up. And okay. so we'll, uh, the information is on the website and, and it, b believe me, you don't have to be part of the tech accelerator to, you can be any small business in surprise and take advantage of it. Oh, good. But it really, it gives you the data analytics um, that a big company, that a fortune 500 company may have access to. Um, and that's, you know, that's what the tech accelerator is all about. It's, it really is a place where whether you are just thinking of an idea or you are growing out of your garage, right. we have a place for you. Okay. It, is, it is the home base um, for any startup business. So if, um, if you are just needing free education, um, we've got a lot of great, actually new education programming coming online soon, some great virtual oh, um, ABCs good. of starting your business and, and other, other things, improving your sales. Um, so we've got some great virtual programming coming up. So you don't Super. even have to come to the Tech Accelerator. You can just log on. Just log on. And come to some of our, our courses. Excellent. And, um, you know, so, great, and you know, if you need a mentor, that's great. We can help you find connections and resources. Or if you just want to plug in, we've got something called Startup Space. Um, so you can plug into a, a virtual network. So whether you need that personal touch or, you know, you're just, you know, you just want to plug into a virtual hub, um, we can help you. And so the Tech Accelerator is a great place uh, for great. small business. Excellent. You got a lot going on. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you got a lot going it's on. It's a pleasure. And, uh, and we, we appreciate it as a city. And the city council really appreciates it, you know, because it's real important. Because we, we get asked all the time, whether we're at the grocery store or gas station or whatever, people yeah. are asking. And, and, of course, Costco is always one of the questions, <laughs> right? But, but, uh, but that yeah. is, you got that one solved, so that question <laughs> will go away. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there'll be others. And yeah. so we rely, we rely on you and your team to tell us how things are going and what's coming and so that we can talk about it, you know, when we're out yeah. there. Yeah. So anyway, appreciate all your efforts, Jeannie. The council and I genuinely appreciate the work of the Economic Development Department to support local businesses and attract new jobs and investment to the community. For more information about the Economic Development Department, visit the city's website at surpriseaz.gov. Have questions or comments for me? I would love to hear from you. You can call or email me anytime. And I welcome you to sign up for my newsletter, which is filled with the latest city news and information. Just click on the Notify Me button on my website to sign up. Thanks for watching.